What's going on, everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com. Man, finally. They really don't need an introduction, but if you don't know, this is the Air Jordan 11 Space Jam 2016 edition. You guys probably already know they originally released in the year 2000, again in 2009. This isn't an OG colorway, but um, I guess you can kind of say it is, but they did not originally release. Um, they were a PE for Michael Jordan. He wore these in the playoffs as well as the movie Space Jam. A few differences between those two. We'll kind of go over that. So in this video, I'm going to kind of go over everything, the hype, you know, all that stuff. And I'm going to do an unboxing too so I can show you what's inside and everything and how the box looks. Another thing is um, there's a ton of videos on YouTube of these. A ton. And I'm going to go ahead and say about 80% of them are fakes, um, UAs. So just be careful. There's probably only two to three people that got them really early. And I mean really early um that got that gave you an authentic review of them you guys probably already know who those people are but other than that um the majority of them are fake but now you should start seeing more people um showing up with them because they are hitting um you know the retail stores and things like that but you can grab these from a wall there'll be a link in the description below to their instagram please give them a follow good people but uh, as far as the release details, they dropped December 10th, 2016 for a retail price of 220 One thing I did forget to mention is later in the week, I will have an on-feet. I'll have a comparison of the 2000 uh, release and the 2009 release. But let's jump into the closer look and see what we have at hand. So predominant black upper, patent leather, mesh. Now, one of the th things are is peaks yes they do have peaks i know fake pairs have peaks but this is this was intentional um the original release from what was it 95 96 i can't even remember something like that they came with peaks as well as a higher cut patent leather which you could see the white exposed um so to me i know a lot of you guys aren't feeling that the peaks could be here nor there i do not really care um but the higher cut patent leather and that bit of white exposed, I love that. Uh, I, I personally love that, but that's just me. Um, we got mesh across the upper, and then we got some leather by the collar, and you can see the Jumpman logo or branding pointing the right direction. I believe it was the 2009 pair that it was pointing the opposite way. At the heel, I know some of you guys do not like that. We have the number 45 um, that is embroidered on instead of like kind of like just overlaid. Um, so the, the deal here with the 45 is um, during the movie Space Jam, he wore these. You guys already know that. The playoffs, I, he did wear these as well. So in the playoffs, they had the number 45 in it. During the movie, the number 23. So bit of difference between that nothing huge i'm sure you guys don't really care about that just sharing some information um again you can see the higher cut patent leather to me these are dope um quality is nice craftsmanship is nice i actually have two pairs um with me right now and i checked them both out both came out good um again though check your pairs because which i'll get into more later in the video these are being mass produced like crazy um but i'll get, uh, get into that later so we have your mesh across the tongue and you could see your branding right there and then once again black on the liner and then nothing special for the lace tips a bit of the thick rope laces also and i did pull out the insole so keeping everything og is actually stuck nike air on the insole they do come with like purple shoehorns concord shoehorn and then to the sole so you got your concord hits blue tint to it jump man right in the middle man i i don't care like these are fresh as hell like there goes that carbon plate. 
Like to me, I mean, people can complain about the higher cut pat and leather. They can complain about the peaks and having 45 instead of the 23 at the hill. That's, you know, and I hear you, you know, I hear you. But um, at the same time, I'm just happy that they brought him back and they gave him the OG treatment. Again, if you don't like him because of these reasons, I mean, just think of it like this. Because I do this, I don't like shoes for certain reasons. For example, the Air Jordan 11 lows, the closing ceremony. I, in person or on pictures, I love them. But in person, the quality was just so bad that I passed on them. So if you're not a fan of this shoe because of these reasons, I'm not saying, you know, I, I am saying don't buy them. But if you like it and you're cool with it, definitely buy it. It's like, a, in my opinion, it's like a piece of sneaker history. And I know we'd all like the 2009 release. Me, I don't mind it. I think these are dope still. But, um, you know, if you got the money, the funds, save up. I mean, 220 I don't know what the 2009. I think those are going for like 450 500 So, actually, yeah, that's kind of a big jump. But um, those are your Jordan 11 Space Jams. Man, I really... Not being biased or anything like quality is cool, craftsmanship is cool. Um, again, you want to check your pairs though because they are being mass produced. Man, just man, man, man. Something about Jordan 11 is Christmas time, can always be happy about it. But <clears throat> for now, before and um, later in the week, we're, um, we'll do the on feet and the comparisons and things, but uh. We're going to jump to the unboxing. So I know most people start their video off by doing an unboxing. But I usually don't do unboxings on the channel unless I literally cut the box open. These have been opened up already. And this is actually the second time I'm kind of going through this. So um, you're not going to get, you know, my excitement as I had it when I first got them. But I also want to show you the box so and everything that comes in it. So I thought I might as well just do an unboxing. But hopefully I remember how to take this apart. Um, so as you can see on the box, we had the 45. Then we have like Bugs Bunny's hands and the Monstars inter intertwined with each other. Kind of a cool look to it. So first, yeah, okay. Like, okay, make sure I got this right. So it's like a sleeve that comes off the box. And then show you some of the detailing. On the opposite side, we have Looney Tunes, Warner Brothers. By the way, I will have a real versus fake <clears throat> of these because um, this is like one of the pairs that you kind of need that. I guess a lot of pairs you do, though. There is the size tag. You can see that purple, like little guess you call it whole I don't know what you want to call it um as far as the bottom of the box no Looney Tunes branding on the actual box it is just the sleeve retail 220 so getting closer to what's inside which you guys already know but inside the lid we have like let me move this back like a galaxy style print outer space I think that's really really dope little jump man right there all right then we have this plastic insert XI which you guys already know 11 Now we're to the paper. We're getting in closer. You guys already saw the shoes, but so I probably should have did this first. But we got 45 print, two sets of paper, and then bam, there we go. We got our space jams. So yeah, I really did this backwards, but it is what it is, guys. Um, these are these bad boys. So I kind of gave you my over a review of them and then did an unboxing. 
maybe next time I'll, I'll do better. But inside the box also, show you the contents inside. Jumpman at the bottom. There is a quality control sticker on this pair, on this, on the Jordan 11. So one of the things you want to look out for in the Concord Jumpman Galaxy style print. This is dope. Like they went above and beyond. But then again, I mean, they should. <clears throat> so shout out for Jordan brand for doing a good job on these. All right, everybody, so that was your closer look and unboxing of the Air Jordan 11 Space Jam. Now, they dropped December 10th, 2016. Retail price will be $220, and you can grab them on the release date at AWOL. Link in the description to their Instagram. Please give them a follow. Good people over there. Um, so, look it. All right. Quality. Uh, I have no issues with quality whatsoever. Um, again, these are going to be mass-produced and... Um, so you want to check, you know, with the craftsmanship, um, make sure, you know, there's not a ton of glue stains, but, uh, this pair and the other pair were just, they're pristine. Like I have no issues whatsoever. And as far as the quality goes, um, so I spoke on the craftsmanship. So as far as the quality is we have real patent leather. It's not that fake stuff that sometimes gets, uh, pushed out by Jordan brand. Um, everything is good, but again, at 220, it should be like that. Um, now, everyone knows there's an extreme amount of hype for him. Um, Jordan Brain knows it. We know it. So what they did was they produced a shitload of pairs. And I don't mean just, you know, you're, you're running the mill, you know, like the Jordan 3 True Blue. Let's just say that. We all know they produced a lot of pairs of those. These, I believe they produced even more. And... They will sell out. Maybe not. I don't think they're going to sell it the first day. I think they're going to, because there's going to be so many. Not that to say these aren't nice. Not to say the hype isn't there. But there is just so many. And, you know, the sneakers app, they're going to be gone. Yeah. Um, those are going to be pretty hard to get on there. Be just because that's every everyone flocks to that. But, you know, by, let's say, min, so it's a Saturday. Let's say... 9, 10 p.m., they might be gone the same day, but it'll be, like, later in the day. Maybe the next day they'll still be around. But, um, again, you guys might call me crazy, but look, retailers are getting double the amount of these that they've gotten on other 11s. They're also, like, if you even look at the Foot Locker, like, launch locators and other ones, like, it's saturated with them out. Now you can argue, like, oh, okay, well, Maybe it's going to be like the band because the band released bread look like a bunch of retailers were getting them and they, a bunch of were getting them. But the thing was, the amount they were getting was limited. It's not the case with these. Um, not only have I confirmed with other retail stores and talked to people, um, there's even people in the comment section I've conversated with that work at like Finish Line, Foot Locker, etc. They said like, yeah, their store just got them. There's, there's a ton of them. So this is the thing is like people are still going to buy more than one pair. You got that. You got the resellers are going to buy them. But at the end of the day, if you want this pair and you like, it's one of those pairs that you have to have in your life, you're going to be able to get them. That's my thought. Of, and without paying resale. And it, let's say you miss out for some strange reason and they do sell out really fast. There's going to be a bunch of restocks down the line. Um, I mean, maybe not a bunch, but there will be quite a bit. So, overall, you should be good. Um, I definitely am a fan of this shoe. And, um, you know, I am I like the 11s. Like, the 11s, they're not my favorite model. Um, you guys probably already know my favorite model is the 14. But, you know, they're definitely in my top five. They're probably in my third, maybe. No, nah, probably my second. No, they're probably my third, my third favorite. So, it'd be the 14s, the ones, and then... 11 something like that but uh definitely these are dope uh man I'm, I'm happy with them overall but anyways leave a comment below let me know what you think of these um again if you don't know we're actually doing a giveaway uh on this pair not this particular pair but the jordan 11 space jam um there'll be a link in that in the description to get you signed in locked away and pretty much win a pair on us 
And um, other than that, in the week, we also got an on feed of these. Um, 2000 versus these. Uh, 2009. <clears throat> and what else do I have coming? Real ver A couple real versus fakes. I got to get these out. Like, I've been waiting. Um, so I got to... Um, been waiting for them to come in. Like, I have, like, all three Yeezys coming in. I just dropped all, the, like, the soul, the red and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned to sneakerfalls.com. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. <laughs>